And I didn't bring any shirts. <laughs> <laughs> what if I surprised you with a trip to Mykonos, Greece, but told you you had only three minutes to pack your bags? What would you bring? That's exactly what I'm doing with my coworkers today. I'm challenging three coworkers to pack their bags in three minutes. This is the three minute packing challenge. They won't know the location of where they're going until right when the timer starts. And I've also included a secret item that they must bring with them, a breakable mug that their friend, me, has asked them to bring over on their trip with them. I specifically said a breakable mug to see if they'll pack it in a specific way. I don't want that mug to break on transit. We're about to begin the challenge. Oh my God, this is so stressful. Where are we going? Mykonos, Greece? Secret item, a breakable mug that your friend asked you to bring him. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, um, what is the climate in Mykonos, Greece? That's the first question. Mykonos, Greece. It's, I feel like it's warm, right? I'm assuming Greece is hot. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna start with some shorts and a bathing suit, um, and then I'm gonna bring pants, two sets of pants. Skirt. Let's bring this skirt. Let's bring two pants. Pants. Okay, six. Okay, and then maybe a light jacket because it might, you know, be a little bit windy on the island. Neatness is a category, so all the undies are going in here. Baby, no period on this trip. Okay. I have my purse. I have my uh, neck pillow. Here is my passport and a bunch of euros. I'm already set. I need a mug. Okay. To the kitchen. Hey, Google, turn the kitchen ceiling on. Oh, the light's not turning. Okay. Um, I can... Oh, this mug is like... Mostly broken. I feel people. It's kind of a shitty gift to give them a, a actually already kind of broken mug, but that's going to my suitcase. Oh, I'm right there. Oh my gosh, just just pick a dress. <laughs> Kindle. Plugged for Kindle. What else? Battery. Passport. Deodorant. Comb. Uh, condoms. Uh, a minute. A minute left. Oh my god. Okay, I got my toothpaste and. Brush already, they always stay in there. That's that. Good sunblock. It's already in here. Look how prepared I am. Holy sh. Oh, sorry. This goes by real fast. Okay. Toothbrush and razor should go in my travel bag. It's bring me branded, so that's very exciting. Oh my god, I only have a minute left. I need a passport. My passport is right here. Since we're in Greece, I think we'll probably need some flip flops. Like, there's a beach town. Oh my god! Uh, I need toothbrush. Contacts. Hello. Mm -hmm. Coming this way. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I need shoes! I actually don't know if I have time for packing kits. 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Okay. Ooh, okay. Wow, this goes by way quicker than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna forego the packing cubes. Actually, you know what? I can make them look really nice in here. Let's get my Kindle and then chargers. I need, this is my phone charger right here. Let's bring my Nintendo Switch as well because that charger works for both of them. Five seconds. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I have four seconds left. I got to zip up my suitcase. Go. Three, two, one. Yes. <laughs> you got two seconds. No. Two seconds. No. That's it. That's no. it. That's it. No. no. Definitely didn't bring a mug and definitely didn't bring any shoes except for the ones that are on my feet. And I didn't bring any shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we have in our lovely suitcase. Wow, neatness points. Well, I got my passport, so we're going to Greece. What I can do on the plane, that, or I can journal. A bottom and a top of a bathing suit. And we got some options, so, you know, I can mix and match. I could break this. You, you technically put tea in this, it's insulated, so, you know, we could do that. Batteries, cords, the things to charge with, that's all good neck pillow. I will say that my toiletries, everything is here. 
toothpaste, toothbrush. I brought this lotion. Contacts, sunscreen, brush. This is my little day bag. I always bring this everywhere. It's already got my plate and my fork in it. And look at how neat it looks down here. I always need earplugs and I always need a mask. And just in case, beep boop. This is underwear and socks for shoes I don't have. <laughs> this is two pair of pants, two skirts and a dress. So, yep. So it's not pretty at all, but I'll show you what I have. Okay, so, oh my God, my passport's not even in here. Where's my passport? So some points for at least having euros already, right? You can't spend the euros if you can't get to euro. Yeah, you're right, okay. So, um, okay, I got six tops, two swimsuits, would have been prepared to swim. Three pairs of shorts, two pairs of pants, oh, eight pairs of underwear, seven socks, a light jacket, neck pillow for the flight, toothpaste, razor, toothbrush, some poopery. So, I forgot my passport. It looks very crappy, and I forgot the mug. Three minutes is not enough time to pack for a trip. I feel like I really failed. Here's my packing job. It's not amazing, but here you go. I have all the shirts and underwear folded. And the pants are right here folded. Swimsuit right here under the pants. I separated my shoes out with the top pouch and I put my toiletries up here in an easily accessible area. My passport is in here in the suitcase. Maybe not the ideal spot for it. And then this mug, I hope my friend in Mykonos likes Doctor Who and also likes mugs that are already kind of a little bit broken. <laughs> there we go, I packed my suitcase. I just finished watching all three Packers and now to dispense my judgment. Last place, sorry Tilo, no passport, no way. Neither Jess nor Tilo had the time to actually make their bag neat looking. Uh, they both tried using packing cubes, which theoretically should have made it look perfectly neat and clean, but they just didn't have the time uh, to get everything in there and zipped up. And then I would probably put Jess in second place. She actually did a decent job, even though she was worried about shoes. To me, sandals and grease is enough, and you would be wearing shoes on the plane. I also liked that she brought uh, a lot of multi-purpose uh, green products. Uh, for instance, shampoo that was also deodorant. Um, that's great because that's, you know, not two bottles. She's made it into one bottle. So I'm all here for limiting the amount of random stuff we bring. To me, if you're going to a city, you don't need to crazily overpack and prepare for everything because if you really need it, you're gonna be able to find it in a convenience store somewhere. The winner obviously has to be Dakota. He's the only one who actually managed to finish packing and zip up his suitcase. Uh, he also, to me, brought everything that he would need, all the essentials. He didn't overpack and his bag was somehow miraculously pretty organized. Like, he put things in separate compartments in the luggage. I don't think Tilo or Jess were able to do that. He uh, brought chargers, uh, he brought the mug, so yeah, congratulations Dakota. Excited to drink coffee with you from my Doctor Who mug in Mykonos. Jess, Tilo, you need to work on your packing game. Bye. Bye, I'll see you in a month. Just kidding, don't leave your houses and go on trips. That's stupid of you right now. Stay home. I'm gonna unpack this now. <laughs>